Well, he better talk on it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans, they know what really I go on. Blessings Nation, and now welcome to the channel. Your man, Jaden Chase, and another one of you go bring on another reasoning upon the topic of current affairs. So, if you're new to the channel, well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and, of course, let your voice be heard. Like and share the video, and yes, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get right into the reasoning. No nation, there are increasing calls for all politicians, whether opposition or in power, to be relieved of their duties if the Integrity Commission finds corruption to be present within their tenure. I'm going to put the question to you. Do you agree? Keep in mind, the Integrity Commission is not a media outlet. And its findings are not hearsay. The commission was set up by parliament to investigate acts of corruption. Well, media outlets and media personalities have made up their minds and they have stated that a time for them to leave. May I make an hear a cliff use of a say and they will continue the reason. Look and listen. Jamaica is a young democracy, only 60 years old. It's been a country wracked by political upheavals, economic declines. The issue of governance has come again to the forefront what will the Integrity Commission's report on the scandal plague firearms licensing authority? Well, one former Minister of National Security has resigned. Another is refusing to do so. Where do we go? Firstly, the Integrity Commission report is not a media report. It is an organization set up by Parliament to precisely investigate issues of how public officials conduct themselves in office. Frankly, Montague's gone, Bunting must join him. The minister does, doesn't come to um, his position on appeals on his own. He receives advice from the review board. Um, and in fact, in one of the two cases, recall that I would have dealt with hundreds of cases of appeals during my four plus years as minister. In one of the two cases that they, after sieving through those hundred, could come up with, uh, the review board actually recommended to return three licenses to the individual, and I acted more conservatively. I, I s believe there was no need for the person to have two handgun licenses, and I reduced it from two to one. So in all cases, I not only acted within my ministerial discretion, but I acted upon the advice of the officials of the ministry or of the review board, which was comprised to consider all the evidence, consider all the information available, and, and make a recommendation. Yes, Nation, and maybe it didn't do much for Bounty to point out that numerous other individuals carried out the same act and that the few instances that the Integrity Commission found discrepancies on his part, he's saying that he acted within his ministerial right and that one individual wanted two permits and he decided that no, he might not need two, he could just give him one. And he said in the other instant or instances, he was working based off the recommendation of the other members of the FLA board. So he must say, if he did wrong, them wrong as well. We may be just pointing fingers at other individuals and saying that if him wrong, them wrong is not a proper defense on Bounty's part. But the fact that he has said that he refused to leave, think Chang say him not going either? What do you think, nation? If this commission was put in place by parliament and everybody signed off on it. Both the party that was in power and the opposition because you need some form of oversight. The power go on. The integrity commission even missed the royal weed situation. And maybe they were working hand in hand with the JCF because his situation was such a major outrage that, you know, charges had to be brought against him. So maybe that's why they acted with the JCF at that moment in time. But think about it. The commission was put in place so that if corruption takes place, these people investigate it and find it 
and filed out and said, yes, we see it. The corruption happened and this month with this person within this situation. And these are the signatures of the, the politicians and, and the people who are involved. Then how come there is no action after that? A reason I'm here in the combat, I say, I recommend numerous officers for disciplinary action and not now. The inspectors and their commission also recommended numerous officers. Not now. Now the integrity commission. I say yes. Some MP, you know, some politicians. Go on with that thing. And some are even saying that some more funds need to be given to the integrity commission so they can investigate more situations. At the word on the streets, did you know that some citizens residing on the island? We're not even aware of a commission put in place to investigate politicians and their actions. Some people don't even know said the integrity commission exists. And here is one of the reasons why. Some have said that they have never seen an elected official brought to justice for acts of corruption. Keep in mind, the education minister they are still not been sentenced by any charges. There isn't after them tell the person that they claim was working with the minister. So she might have a pay back all the money. What them say she take? All of the funds that was taken by her. Them say she have got pay back. We still not you are going to read. So some have stated that they have never seen elected officials held accountable for not what them do. So some people are not aware that the Integrity Commission existed. No, that we know it exists. The people must say they might need more funding. Because whole heap of other things need to look into. You can't just stop this up. The people are saying that. At any interval, where wealthy individuals have to cross paths with powerful individuals, something go on this up. And that's what take place at the FLA. Clearly, individuals with wealth wanted this piece of document that will make some link. Now, one thing for sure though, them say a whole board review these situations. Somebody can overwrite them, but the board always look through. But tell me what you think. As I would say, we say mainstream media personalities that say, yo, them feel like certain elected officials for leave a there's some mainstream media reach anytime i hear mainstream media go out and i make talk like this there might be some changes in the political landscape we have already seen communities that call for change from the the councillors or the mps or them have we also leaders of certain parties are not happy with the performance of certain ministers we are say Members of certain parties are not happy with the leadership and now with the support of the Integrity Commission. And if the people now unite under the fact that, yo, if the Integrity Commission say, hey, we want to see some form of disciplinary action, we want to see something that take place, then why is there a commission? Remember, all of these things are paid for by tax dollars. Why is there a commission with individuals working there? Probably have a building, utilities are paid. Only per millions been allocated to them, and um, on the basis of every time the budget read. Why is all of this taking place? If when these individuals find the evidence and bring it to Parliament, not only bring it to Parliament, bring it to the media, to the point where media personalities have here point out the fact that. The Integrity Commission is not a media outlet, it's not a newspaper, it's not an online publication. It is a commission created as oversight for look through and sift through the actions of elected officials. And this commission was put in place by Parliament. It couldn't put in place by nobody else who would have given the funding. So how come Parliament put the Integrity Commission in place? It did not plan for the nothing 
about the findings. Same like Indicom. Why Parliament have Indicom in place if Indicom bosses have here come out to the media? Remember, Indicom bosses have here take the situation to the media. Not just the Parliament and them have here got news outlet to tell news outlets a boy we make numerous recommendations you know, and nothing happen. At this said reach you now the integrity and um, the indicom feel as if they are now powerless. After they make the recommendations, after they do the investigations and all that, nothing happen. And the same thing with the integrity commission. Them do them findings, investigate and bring the findings to parliament. And them must say basically it's almost like nothing up. Them have to take it to the media. And maybe it's not the first, it's something. Well, clearly one party leader now joke. And name call an instant resignation. For the next party, we don't know. That individual has say, yo, him acted within his right. And based upon the law, he was given the right to do so. The integrity commission, integrity commission has to do the individuals who were given it. Based on FLA rules and regulations, these individuals are not individuals who should even be considered for a license or a permit, whichever way you want to call it, or state it. And that's how the people are a problem. Not that the individual acted within his, you know, his right as a minister, but that this individual name was even brought up for discussion i remember the name of the individual has not been released to the public and that doesn't matter they finish them revoke all of these permits already so whichever individual that was in the matter that's why people have a whole problem with why them call um you know what i mean the, the the maroon chief and why them call jack your name if no other names were called no other names were called because all of those individuals had their permits revoked but talk to me in the comment section. I don't know how to feel. Tell me if you not agree with media outlets and the integrity commission. And that something has to be done. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions. And now go like, like and share the video. Or I can that. Subscribe. Click the subscribe icon. Put it on all. Until the reason again. Live love and prosper. Stay tuned. Until the reason again.